transgressions and remember them no more. You forgive your transgressions and remember them no more. Look unto me. a turn to blend our voices to sing together and we are taking our first song to reflect the season that's going to be CGS hymn number 41 Hark the Herald Angels Sing compliment of the season to every one of you whom the Lord has made and um, have to be part of this service may the Lord bless you for coming we are in a season that is wonderful. We are in a season that we have always been looking forward to. And we want to thank God that he has made it possible for you and I to be part of that celebration. We pray that the joy of Christmas will flow into every heart. We flow into every home. We flow even right here in our church. In Jesus' name. For our internet audience, wherever you may be, we... Welcome you as well. We pray that the Lord will bless you. Amen. If you live locally or you are visiting, you are most welcome. We've just missed out on the nice prelude from our choir and orchestra, who started with Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven, on the orchestra. And then the choir gave us Great is the Lord and Wonderful Savior. Um, before we um, then listen to Do Your Sins Be a Scarlet from the Ajibolas, a duet. Let's blend our voices now as we take this carol. 41, Hark the Herald Angel Sing. We take verses 1 and 3. Verses 1 and 3 from um, the song. And then we have the um, introduction from the uh, keyboard players. <laughs>
number 46. 46 from the same hymn book says, O come, all ye faithful, joyful, and triumphant. Yeah. Let's say verses 1, 3, and 4. Verses 1, 3, and 4. Let's have the um, orchestra lead us into that. 46. Since we've just heard this morning about the power in the blood of Jesus, let's begin with number 64. 64, the chorus, there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is healing in the blood of Jesus, and there is forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. There must be someone here today who needs one of these, and the Lord is going to do that. So let's take that, those three verses uh, prayerfully, number 64.
my hymn book, it says forgiveness, that of course when you are forgiven, you receive salvation. Yeah. So that may as well mean the same thing. Yeah. Number 40, for zero. Same chorus. We can only have victory only through the blood of Jesus. Yes. Let's take that twice over. Twice over, number 40. Claim that today in Jesus' name. Amen. Chorus number 93. Chorus number 93 says, When I see the blood, yes. I will pass over you. Amen. It is the prayer of our heart that if you are yet unmarked with the precious blood of Jesus, you have the opportunity today to get that mark. As we celebrate his birth, we are celebrating even his death. Let's go back to number 49 from the main songs. Number 49, once in Royal Davy City stood a lowly captive shed. We take again verses 1, 2, and 6. 1, 2, and 6. Once in Roya Davy David City, 49. Let's have the orchestra to lead us again. This is 1, 2, and 6.
stand up to sing chorus number 41. Chorus number 41, there is power in the blood. These I know. Amen. It's a healing, cleansing flow. These I know. Yes. I am trusting, I am free in the stream that flows from Calvary. Amen. Let's listen to the tune. We stand up to sing. After we listen to the tune, we take it twice, and then we end it up with um, oh, the blood of Jesus. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> will come forward and lead us in congregational prayer. Blessed are they that know these things. How opportune, O oh Lord, we are that we can sing that there is power in your blood and we know it. Lord, glory be unto your name. We thank you because you're faithful. We thank you because you're merciful. Yes. We thank you because you're loving. Yes. And in that love you've brought us. Lord, for this glory be unto your name. Yes. We have come, though unfaithful we are, but Lord, we have come to experience your faithfulness. Yes. Lord, glory be unto your name. Yes. You are the reason for the season. Yes. We have seen the celebration and the jubilations around. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you because you can be born in our hearts. Yes. Even as we are born in Bethlehem. Yes. Lord, we commit this service into your mighty hands. Yes. We commit the preacher of today into your yes. mighty hands. Yes. We commit our hearts into your mighty hands. Yes. That which we have not experienced. Yes. That which we have not known. Yes. That even today, through the unction of your word, Amen. that you will cause us to experience it, Amen. that you will cause us to know it. Amen. Lord, come and bless today. Amen. Bless today, oh Lord. Amen. Wherever your children are gathered, Lord, let your blessing flow. Amen. Even to those that are watching in the internet, Lord, let your blessing flow. Amen. We expect salvation today. We expect a touch of healing today. Lord, we expect miracles today. Lord, turn our situations around. Those that have come here sad will go rejoicing. Lord, you give us reasons to celebrate. Do this and many more. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. We would like, on behalf of the ministry, to thank God for what the Lord did for the Apostolic Faith Mission UK, especially this year with regards to wedding. Amen. It's really wonderful. I don't think we have ever had it like this before. But God visited us in a special way this year. Um, in particular, we had so many within this last month. 
Um, so on behalf of the church, we would like to say congratulations Amen. to all those um, newlyweds and wish them all a very happy married life. Amen. We're going to listen to First Persia, Beautiful Star of Bethlehem, at the end of which there's going to be Bible reading taken from the book of Exodus, the 12th chapter, reading verses 1 to 7, and then the last special Calvary stream, and then the word of exhortation. God bless you. Oh, beautiful star of taken from the book of Exodus chapter 12. We will read from verse 1 to 7, Exodus 12. 
And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Amen. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Amen. Three, speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house, for, and if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your, your count for the lamb. Five, your lamb shall be without blemish. Amen a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. Six, and ye shall keep it until, up, on, up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, seven and the last, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two sides Post of the upper doorpost of the houses, wherein they shall eat it.
Turn to the text that we read together from the 12th chapter of the book of Exodus. We read from verse 1 through to 7, and I would like to add on to that verse 12 and 13. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And we smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. We thank God for the blood of Jesus. We thank God for the Calvary stream that is still flowing. Flowing free for you and for me. I want to pray today that you and I will take the advantage to plunge ourselves into that stream. When we talk about stream, Every stream has a source. Every stream has a spring. Some streams, you will go and then you notice that the spring is from the rock. Some, you will notice that it's from even the ocean that is going into that stream. But the stream we are talking about here, it also has a source. It has a spring. You can trace that spring to Calvary. And when you get to Calvary, you wonder, where is the actual spring of all this? When we think of the crown of thorns and the blood gushing out. When we think of the nail-pierced hands and the blood gushing out. When we think of the feet put together, nailed together, and the blood gushing out. When we think of when the spear was used to pierce his side Amen. and blood gush out. Amen. All these come together from the Calvary stream. Amen. All these put together is the spring, is the source Amen. of Calvary stream. Amen. I pray that today, in the name of Jesus, Amen. that stream 
will flow to you. Amen. That stream will flow to me. Amen. More especially if we know the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes. We will run into that stream. Yes. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. There is healing. Yes. There is protection. Yes. There is forgiveness. Yes. There is salvation. Yes. There is redemption. Yes. There is deliverance. Yes. Everything you need yes. is available yes. in the blood of Jesus. Yes. I don't know whether you've come across the word panacea. This is something that is called cure all. The solution to everything. The blood of Jesus is the true panacea. Anything and everything that you are looking for. And I want to encourage you today. What a wonderful day. What a beautiful day. The lot of Rahab will be our lot today. In the name of Jesus. That blood will avail for you. Yeah. That blood will avail for me. Yeah. I don't know what you have brought to the house of the Lord today. We want to focus on nothing else. Since we've just studied about it, don't let us just study it and put it aside. Let us just put our focus. Yes. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. The blood of Jesus. Yeah. Blood of Jesus. We plead for that blood yeah. to envelope yeah. this congregation yeah. right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We plead for that blood to break every stony heart. We plead for that blood to heal every sickness. We plead for that blood to come down and flow from Calvary to every soul in the name of Jesus. It will never, never lose its power. Many things can lose the power. Many things can be effective at a time. And at a certain time, the power of the effectiveness of that thing is reduced. Not the blood of Jesus. Never ever will he lose his power. It is something that you and I need to hide under. When the storms of life are raging, it is what you need. It is what I need. If we want the power of Satan to be broken, there is no other source. There is no other uh, uh, way of resolving that but by focusing on Calvary. Yes. Calvary. The stream from Calvary. Yes. The blood of Jesus flowing from Calvary yes. can break every fetter yes. of the enemy. Yes. Aren't you glad? Yes. I'm excited yes. that I can have that blood free yes. applied to my heart, yes. applied to my body. Yes. And we are not talking of um, just warming ourselves up. This is a reality. That is true. Many times when I talk about um, the blood of Jesus, I like to compare it as an object lesson with um, a situation when I was a child, a secondary school boy in a village. And many times um, we have health visitors. They come to our primary school. They like to inject us with some... Um, vaccine just to make sure that we are protected from cholera or malaria. And I hate the touch of the needle. Um, I'm one of those that will be running away from these head visitors. I don't like to be pinched. And um, because I've taken some in the past and um, the after effect, the pain is so much. And they usually do it on this particular area. I remember very well because the marks are still there. But because of the pain and the after effect, I will be running away. But many times they will pin me down, and then they will inject me with it, and many of us will get that. And then, of course, we are made to believe that as a result of that, we are protected from malaria virus, from cholera virus, from whatever virus they are protecting us from. You know, by the same token, if we apply that to spiritually speaking, the blood of Jesus, yes. we can make ourselves available yes. to be inoculated, Amen. to be immunized yes. by the blood of Jesus, yes. to be injected Amen. by the blood of Jesus. Amen. And just as we have read here, when untimely death is looking around, when incurable diseases are moving around, Amen. the promise is you have become immune. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. As they come around you and they see the blood of Jesus, Amen. they pass over. Amen. 
Aren't you glad that we have the blood of Jesus that we can have applied in our lives and then all these calamities? You may be wondering. Yes, I've um, requested for that blood and I've been, uh, it has been applied, but I still have issues. Well, if God will open your eyes to see real issues, then you will know that what you are going through is not an issue at all. It's just nothing. The things that the Lord has made to pass over me, over you, in the night, seen and unseen, all glory, all honor, all praise be unto him who has laid his life so that you and I can have that protection. Today is another day of getting that protection. In our Sunday school, we are made to understand that um, an opportunity, you know, when it is gone, it is gone. We have an opportunity today, and I want to pray that that opportunity will not just go over you. Rehab had that opportunity. Opportunity of a lifetime. And she humbled herself. She made herself available. When every other person, every other inhabitant of Jericho was um, finding ways of doing something else, in faith, she looked. I need this. This is my only deliverance. And she was delivered. You will be delivered in Jesus' name. Here in the passage that we have read, you will see from the first verse of the 12th chapter that we have read together, we have here the wave, if you like, of God's judgment looming. It's more than malaria. This is destruction. Looming. But praise God, a way of escape was made by God. God has made a way of escape for you and I today too. Don't let us run away from it. Don't do like I used to do when I was a little boy in my primary school. Don't run away. You know, one good thing about this inoculation or this immunization process by Jesus Christ with his blood, mm -hmm. it has no pain. Amen. It has no pain and it has no side effect. Amen. In a negative sense, no side effect. But in a positive sense, the benefits accrued. When you are injected with this blood, Amen. the earth cannot contain it. Amen. May you and I, afresh, be washed Amen. in the blood of Jesus. Amen. May you and I, today, humble ourselves Amen. and say, Lord, you know when, when um, just very vivid in my mind, when you are brought before the earth visitor, even though, of course, you are just cringing and thinking the needle will go in, you must still submit. You know they are going here anyway, so there's no need, need hiding here. So you submit it. Even though then you're, saying, ah, you're biting your teeth and everything for that needed to go in and something to happen. By the same way of application, yes. it is our heart. Yes. This is not the question of the way you look or the way I look, but our heart. Yes. If we will say, Lord, I'm surrendering my heart. Yes. I'm giving you my heart. Yes. Apply your blood to my heart. Yeah. Jesus will do it for you. Yeah. The work will be done. Amen. And you will not feel the pain. It has even no pain. It was applied to my heart Amen. when I was about 18 years ago. Amen. Actually, it brought joy. Amen. It brought peace. Amen. It brought happiness. Amen. It brought protection. Amen. That is what it will bring for you. Amen. If we have anyone present here today who is yet to surrender his or her heart to the Lord for the application of the blood of Jesus, I pray that today will not go over your head. Amen. I pray that today, you know, right from the Sunday school, we've been talking about the blood, the scarlet line, as it was for her, but for our own today, the blood of Jesus is still flowing. Amen. And it will not lose its power. Amen. Jesus Christ is that Passover lamb. He's the one that was butchered, killed, cruel death, bloody. And we can say the blood of Jesus, please 
I have problem, any part of my body, apply your blood. Yes. It's a common saying in our, our, our own circle here. We used to plead the blood of Jesus every time. Yes. Wash me with your precious blood. Yes. Wash me with your precious blood. As I'm driving this car, Jesus, wash my car with your precious blood. As I'm entering this um, aeroplane, Jesus, uh, uh, wash this aeroplane with your precious blood. As I'm sleeping, Jesus, wash me with your precious blood. Amen. And it is working. Yes. There is power Amen. in the blood of Jesus. Yes. Thank God for Jesus. Yes. Have you ever taken time to thank God? For the blood of Jesus. Without which, there is no remission. Without which, there is no forgiveness. Without which, you cannot get your way out of your arrogance and pride. The glory, honor, praise be unto God. When we plead the blood of Jesus, he takes away every kind and type of sin in our lives. I want to pray that today, by the special grace of God, you are going to do something about it. For the sinners, you wonder, how will I get that applied? You confess your sins, you repent. For the unsanctified, those who are looking for the experience of sanctification, you plead for the blood of Jesus. For the sick, you reach out in faith for the blood of Jesus. Amen. The word of God tells us in the book of Hebrews that that blood is for our eternal redemption. Amen. If you look at Hebrews chapter 9 from verse 11, somewhere there, and up to 14 and 19 to 22, you will see that that blood is for our purging. Do you want to purge your life? Plead for the blood of Jesus. Certain things that you want removed or eradicated, that's what that says. Do you need purging? Plead for the blood of Jesus. My tongue, something is wrong with it. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my tongue. Amen. My ears, something is wrong with it. I, plung, I, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my ears. Amen. My legs, they just be going to where I don't want to go. Jesus, have mercy upon me. Plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. Your uh, thinking faculty. The blood of Jesus. Every time, you're just full of negativity. <laughs> plead the blood of Jesus. Amen. In that book of Hebrews, we are told, that it is given for the purification of our conscience. Yeah. Amen. You have evil conscience. Yeah. Your conscience, you are just not rest. You are not at rest. Is um, uh, uh, um, bad thoughts and all those things that are just not normal. Things that you yourself, you are tired of. You are just living in, with a life of frustration. Plead the blood of Jesus. Yeah. The blood of Jesus will work for you. Yeah. The blood of Jesus will do it. Amen. For those that are in sorrow confused, hopeless, those that need deliverance, the blood of Jesus is what you need. For the, for the backsliders, you do the first works and call for the blood of Jesus and see what will happen. Don't give excuse. Go for a rewash. Wash me again. Cleanse me again. That blood is still flowing and it is free. What does the blood of Christ mean to you? Are you conscious that through this blood, you can cross over yes. from death Hallelujah. unto life. Amen. Do you know that through this blood of Jesus, are you aware Amen. that if you avail yourself of this blood of Jesus, the judgment of God will not be upon you? Amen. And on the other side, if you refuse the blood of Jesus, know for certainty that the judgment of, of God is against you and is ringing loud and clear. Damnation, 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 damnation. May that not be your lot. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may life be your lot. Amen. May life be my lot. Amen. If you look at um, verse 14, it says, And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Amen. Why can't the 9th of December, I'm asking myself the same question, why can't the 9th of December be a day of memorial? Yes. In my life. Amen. In your life. Amen. Why not? Amen. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. Amen. And ye shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generation. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. A, a lasting testimony. If you quickly check um, the, the, the second verse also, just to see what can happen when we yield our, our life and self to this blood. This month, shall be unto you 
It doesn't matter. We are in the last month. But God is saying, by human calendar, December is the last month of the year. But God can change the calendar of our lives. He's saying, this month shall be unto you. The beginning of month. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Does it matter if your own January is December? Because of what the Lord will do for you. Because of what the Lord has done for you. God can change anything. And what a day we have. What an opportunity we have. What a privilege that you and I have to say, God, today, I want it to be a memorial day, a wonderful day. Because if you don't do that, something terrible will soon happen. Calvary stream is still flowing for you, for me, for the old, for the young, for all colors and all races. A songwriter says, I stand amazed. Do you too stand in awe when you think? of the grace of God through the blood. When you think of the mercy of God through the blood, when you think of the love of God through the blood, do you praise God for the blood? Do you say thank you for the blood of Jesus that is shed? In verse 28 of that text, chapter 12, verse 28, it says, And the children of Israel went away and did Hallelujah. Amen. That is where the blessing is. Yeah. And did, as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron, so did they. Amen. Our blessing is only in obedience. Yeah. You know, these people could have rationalized. Why on the two door posts? Why not one? Why on the lintel? I cannot even get to the lintel of the door. Why not the lintel of the uh, window? There is no need to argue. There is no need to rationalize. Do it. Yes. Whatever he says to you, do it. Yes. If the Spirit of God is telling you now that I'm putting my finger on this, it is wrong. What you are doing is wrong. You don't argue with the Spirit of God. Confess immediately. Yes. Cry immediately for mercy. Because the blood is still flowing. Yes. And that blood can cleanse you yes. and make you whole. We don't want to end the year without the blood. We don't want to enter into the new year without the blood. We want the blood to cover us. Because the midnight hour of this world is at hand. In verse 29, and it came to pass, because God has said it, it will happen. It came to pass that at midnight, the Lord smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh that sat on the throne unto the firstborn of the captive that was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of cattle. Can you imagine that? If these people have delayed, I won't do it now. I will do it later. Midnight, we just meet them unaware. May that midnight not meet you unaware. May you do something about it, about it now and today. Without the blood, one is in danger. The word of God tells us in, uh, the, in the Bible that this is my blood which is shed for many. Have you got that yet? The night, midnight of this world may be tonight. Have you ever thought of that? Your own midnight, my own midnight, may be year 2018. What happens? If death should come and you don't have or you are not covered by the blood of Jesus, it is Jesus' blood that will make the difference between where you will go, whether you'll be left behind, whether uh, the calamity and the destruction of God will be upon you or not. It's going to be as a result of the blood of Jesus. Going back to my school experience, they said that if you refuse to take this inoculation, you are exposed to all dangers, all kinds of viruses. I want to say the same thing to you. If you refuse to have the blood of Jesus upon your life, you are exposed. You are exposed. Anything can happen to you. You are exposed. You will be tormented. The, 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 the tormentor is just around looking for anyone that has the blood. Just like um, the angel of death was hovering around Egypt, 
moving from one place to the other, moving from one place to the other. Where the blood was not applied, there must be death. Things are moving around too. Many things are moving around. How long do you want to keep on without the blood of Jesus? How long do you want to be doing things in your own power and strength and struggling without the blood of Jesus? Don't you know that anything can happen anytime from now? You are exposed to all dangers, sorrows, heartaches, troubles, failures. You find it difficult to live a victorious Christian life. You are exposed to rising and falling and frustration, overpowered by sin because you have no protection. When you can live a life of an overcomer on a daily basis, by the blood of the Lamb, as we, have told, as we are told in the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11, that we can overcome, and we shall overcome, and we actually overcome by the blood of the Lamb. We want, do you want protection? Many things are flying around. They are now. Untimely death, incurable disease, arrows of the enemy, calamity, weeping, sadness day and night, misery and woe, all of this, sin and unseen, but if you have the blood of Jesus, it will pass over you. Yes. All of this will pass over you. Amen. All of this will go over you. Amen. You will be saved. Yes. How long do you want to still thinking whether you want to jump into this stream or you want to just still be waiting? Let me end. With the book of Job, chapter 5. Job chapter 5 from verse 19. When we have the blood of Jesus, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. We are looking. Things to motivate you and I to cry, to plead for the blood of Jesus. What the blood of Jesus will do. What the blood of Jesus can do. In famine, verse 20, he shall redeem thee from death. In war, from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Amen. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Amen. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Amen. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Amen. For thou shalt be in a league with the stones of the field. Amen. And the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Amen. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace. Amen. And thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin. Amen. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great. Amen. And thy offspring as the grass of the earth. Amen. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age. Amen. Like as a shock of corn cometh in in a season. Yeah. Lo, this, we have searched it. Yeah. So it is. Yes. Hear it. Amen. And know. Amen. Thou it for thy good. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't go Amen. without that cover. Don't go without plunging yourself. Don't go without jumping into that stream and say, cover me, wash me, cleanse me. Use this blood to take away my sins. Use this blood to remove all the impurities in my life. Calvary stream is flowing around. Calvary stream is flowing around. You want to plunge yourself into it? Do you feel like plunging yourself into that stream? Do you feel like calling upon Jesus to wash you with his precious blood? Do you feel like you want some sins and iniquities and impurities in your life to be washed away by the blood of Jesus? Calvary stream is still flowing, flowing free for you and for me and can wash away your sins, can wash away your impurities, can take away all form of sins in our lives. And if you are sick, come forward, cry to him, plead for the blood of Jesus. If you have issues, if you have problems, come and plead the blood of Jesus. It's always availing and it will avail for you as we sing, there is a fountain filled with blood.
Jesus. Lord, we plead the blood of Jesus upon every soul here. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every sickness. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every ailment. We plead the blood of Jesus upon every home. We plead the blood of Jesus upon our church. We plead the blood of Jesus upon this nation. Oh Lord, let your blood avail for us. Give us victory today. Save, oh Lord God. Redeem us, oh Lord. Sanctify. Baptize with Holy Ghost and fire. Heal us, oh Lord. And send us home with joy and rejoicing. Thank you for answered prayers. As we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen.